trauma bonds aren't about love. They're about survival hijacking choice. A trauma bond forms when your nervous system learns that relief only comes after pain. So your brain bonds to the cycle of hurt, hope, relief, repeat. This isn't weakness, it's conditioning. Your brain isn't bonding to the person, it's bonding to the pattern. Here's the part most people are never taught. Dopamine, the chemical of choice, motivation, agency, shares a converter with cortisol, the stress hormone. So when stress stays high, dopamine gets pulled into survival mode. The brain stops asking, what do I want? And starts asking, what do I need to do to make this stop? That's why trauma bonds feel compulsive. The choice circuit is rerouted through threat. Anxious attachment is most vulnerable to this, but attachment styles are not static. For a trauma bond or coercive control to work, the system must be pushed into anxious attachment first. And that doesn't make anyone broken. It just means their survival system was manipulated. That's why people say, I knew it was bad, but I couldn't leave. I felt addicted. Something took over because it did. Survival took over. Trauma bonds are about ongoing uncertainty and poor dopamine is future focused. Contrary to popular belief, dopamine isn't about getting the reward. It's about the anticipation of the reward. So dopamine is living in the anticipation of those little breadcrumbs of safety, those little breadcrumbs of care, those little breadcrumbs of relief. Tomorrow, we talk about what actually breaks a trauma bond, building a secure base that restores agency. Because you don't heal a hijack through willpower, you heal it by giving your nervous system real safety again.